Again, with this next day thing, like, for me, it's been... Oh, boy. Nearly a week at this point. I need to get better at recording these, don't I? Hey there, guys! My name is Nix, and welcome back to Steins Gate! Last time, uh, Darrow actually managed to find us some secret things. And by secret things, I mean some guy at CERN's emails. And we had a read of those. Then we had a chat with Christina outside, and she got really mad at me. She always does that, I think. Anyway... The next day, I decided to hit Akiba's computer parts stores. I did as much as I could yesterday after partying with Kurisu, but no luck. Finding an IBM 5100 is obviously going to be a huge pain in the ass. Mm. Mm. I'm standing in a narrow tunnel that runs beside the Eradicon building. Small shops selling everything from motherboards to resistors to vacuum. Yeah, I was, for some reason I didn't register the number of twos in that sentence. Small shops selling everything from motherboards to resistors to vacuum tubes line both sides of the tunnel. Here lies the vestiges. Yeah. Also, if I sound a bit lispy today, uh, mouth ulcers. Which, if you're new here, uh, I is a frequent problem of mine. I don't know why or why. It's just a thing. Uh, here... Here lie the vestiges of the old electric town. Akiba's conscious. Conscience? Yeah, conscience, so to speak. Apparently, I also can't read tonight. Casual otaku usually avoid stores like these. It's like a holy land that only true fanatics can enter. Not like that, and I'm an expert on computer parts. Furthermore, these shops only sell parts, so it's actually kind of silly to be searching for a whole PC here. Still, something about the sight of all these electronics gets my blood pumping. I have to hide my excitement in order to maintain my dignity. If a storekeeper yells, Hey kid, you're ten years too young for this stuff, then I have no choice but to run. Fortunately, no one has yelled at me yet. In fact, the storekeepers seem to be ignoring me. They must be more open-minded than I thought. Or maybe they just don't care. I search each store in turn, but turn up neither hide nor hair of an IBM 5100. I didn't realize that was my phone ringing. I just thought the, some sh epic shit was going down. The ringing of my phone draws a sharp look from the nearest storekeeper. It's me. What's up? I thought I told you not to contact me on this line. It could be tapped. I'm telling you not to be so careless. Anyway, give me a sit rep. Um, Okari? Maybe she doesn't know what that means. I'm asking why you're calling. Why did you just say that? Um, what are you doing now? Executing the mission. Executing the missus? The mission! I'm looking for an IBM 5100. <laughs> oh, why did he say so? Mayushi heard something amazing just now. Wanna hear? If it's valuable information, then by all means. Queen. I'll be waiting. Hey, tell me over the phone. Hey, Mayori. Why do I have to go all the way to May Queen? I complain, but it's less than a 10 minute walk. Oh, God, does this mean I have to do the Faris voice? I'd, I'm not prepared. Whatever. I haven't had lunch, so I guess I'll eat while I'm there. There's a handwritten sign outside May Queen that says, Today's the Faris Cup, nya. Well, I'm trying to figure out what that means. Huh? Okarin! Mayuri trots up to me in full maid regal regalia. She has a convenience store bag in hand. Mayushi went to the convenience store during lunch break. And Mary takes out her pocket watch, pockety, and she checks the time. Yeah, there's only five minutes left. 
Mary squats next to the stairs. Good work. So what was that amazing thing you heard? Before that, food! She takes some fried chicken out of the convenience store bag as she speaks. The aroma of chicken stirs my appetite. Let me have one. Okay. She skews a piece of chicken on a toothpick and holds it out for me. Here you go! Can't do that in front of the store. You're supposed to be a maid. So? Hey, you're not Shina Mayori, but Mayushi Nyan Nyan! You can't, you can't say ah in front of the store. Customers are gonna see that as an act of betrayal. With that said, I take the chicken off the toothpick by hand and throw it into my mouth. Mmm, delicious. Delicious? I can't read tonight. Delicious. Not as good as juicy chicken number one, though. What the hell is a juicy chicken number one? Well, what was that amazing thing you heard? Give me a minute, Mayori. Oh god, it's part-time warrior! Yeah, I know this is, um, Suzuwa. Did she message me beforehand? Am I... Am I confused? Uh, the answer is yes. I'm always confused. I thought I'd, I was just looking to see if I had another message from her, but apparently I don't, so... That's a secret! Nope, that's the wrong voice. Or is it? No, that's right. That's a secret! What do you think? If you get... If you get it right, I'll take you... I'll take you anywhere! Anywhere reachable by bicycle, that is. That's, I'm slipping into Mickey Mouse. Take a guess! By the way, no hints! I feel like I changed her voice. I swear I texted her before, but, uh... Maybe I'm being daft. There's Faris Mayori, Shining Finger. Oh, okay, this is it. Yes, okay, Skyclad. Now I know. Now I worked out what I asked her. I just said, where was she living before? You found the lead? Of course it was at May Queen. I can't believe I missed it. No, it's not. That's silly. Damn, don't get my hopes up like that. Mary's a triumphant look on her face, but I don't see where this is going at all. Maybe she was thinking that the IBM 5100 train works, so I asked the other girls if they knew anything. First I asked Maki-chan, but Maki-chan says she's not good with computers. And then there's Lisa-Lisa-chan! From, from JoJo's? From JoJo Part 2? That Lisa-Lisa? Never mind. But she only knows about the latest PCs. And that she's actually a mesh... Meshed? Mac head? That she uses Max? Is that what that is? Just get to the point. I don't really care how much trouble you went through. Huh? Um, well, I think Faris Chan knows. Of course it's Fa- Of course it's Faris! What? Is that true? You know she's a retro PC maniac. These voices are all over the place tonight. Faris? That girl is secretly, ha seriously hardcore. And I prefer to stay away from her if possible. But I'm really desperate for information. I take out my phone and put it to my ear. It's me. Looks like we've got a lead on the IBM 5100. You ready for this? It's Faris Nyan Nyan. It turns out that cat girl's an expert on retro PCs. There's probably another side to this. Let's keep our eyes peeled. <laughs> I suppose I'm the only man for the job. Very well. I'll make the approach. If you don't hear from me by two... Two... I was going to say 200. No, it's 2,000. If you don't hear from me by 2,000 hours tonight, then forget about me and commence the strike on May Queen. Everything is the choice of Steinsgate. 
Elsai Conquer. Put away my phone, grab another piece of chicken, and look up at May Queen's window. <laughs> well done, Mayori. I'll show you that your information is put to good use. If I'd have been authentic, I'd have found something to chew on. Chicken. By the way, what's this Ferris cup about? Chicken. Maybe she is stuffing the remaining chicken into her mouth as fast as she can. There are tears in her eyes. Come on, it was just two. Well, whatever. I know I'm uneasy about the lack of intel, but the mission must go on. Wait here, Mayori. If you don't return within the hour, go home immediately. Understood? I can't! I have to work! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway, let's leave Mayori to a chicken and begin the approach. I was not prepared to do this voice today. Give me a minute and I'm gonna grab some water. I'm fully aware that my Faris voice is uh, probably not pleasant to listen to, but I'm gonna keep fucking doing it. Because it's one of the few ways I can actually differentiate between female voices. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the one. That's the Ferris voice! Welcome, Yasta! When I enter the cafe, it's fully occupied, unlike usual. Nya -nya. Nya -nya. Is Kyoma gonna join too? Today's the Ferris Cup, Nya! Doesn't look like she plans to explain what it is. I take my phone out again. It's me. We're in a search on the Ferris Cup. What? A battle to the death where the winner gets to use Faris however he pleases? <laughs> Looks like I've stepped into one of hell of a mess. No, there's no problem. I'll survive. By any means necessary. El Sai Konkuru. Put my phone away and turn to Faris. The Faris Cup is a battle royale, isn't it? No, Nya! It's a caddy cat battle royale where the winner gets to make Ferris his slave, Nya! <laughs> no, you can't! You can't claw at each other's throats over Ferris, Nya! Please stop, Nya! Oh, you're all gonna fucking love me after today. <laughs> Ferris starts crying and wriggling her body seductively. That's some pretty good acting, but of course, no one here is killing anyone. Yoma! Please, Nya! Stop them! Don't worry. There's nobody for me to stop. Everyone's sitting silently in their seats. Nevertheless, the atmosphere, atmosphere here is different. I sense bloodlust in the air. No, seriously, what's the Ferris Cup? A portable contest with Faris, Nya! Faris goes at it with everyone at the same time, Nya! A reward goes to those Faris finds worthy, Nya! I gulp and look at Faris hard. Faris, are you serious? Going at it with all these men at the same time? She's insane! But Faris grins. A fang-like tooth peeks out from her glistening red lips. If you don't do something, Faris is going to become everyone's plaything, yeah? Faris approaches me. Her slender fingers touch my arm. Her caress gives me goosebumps. Say Faris's fuck, Yoma. I can't take my eyes off her. I've been entranced. This girl has the power to bend men to her will. I must resist! I refuse! I shake her paws off. <sighs> that was close. She has one hell of an evil eye. I barely escaped enticement. And only because I am the insane mad scientist, Hyoin Kiyoma. I didn't come to fight. I only came to talk to you. 
If you're not gonna play, then I'm sorry. I'll have to ask you to leave, yeah. What's this? A maid sending a customer away? Paris is the organizer. Oh god, why? It's the organizer at the Ferris Cup today. Only participants are, in are allowed inside the shop, yeah. I only need two minutes. The IBN. Not listening, yeah. Ferris puts her hands over her ears. Her real ears, not her cat ears. And she laughs mischievously. If you want to talk to Ferris, you're going to have no choice but to join the Ferris Cup, yeah. Now that's just low. So, what'll it be, yeah? You can't survive unless you fight with your own paws, yeah. Use any method to obtain information. That's my current mission. I have to do it, no matter what lies ahead. There's no choice. I accept your challenge, but on one condition. I thrust my finger at the tip of Faris's nose. If I face you, you tell me everything you know. Well, fine by me, yeah. Oh then, master. This way, nya nya. She sticks a name tag onto my chest. The number 28 is written on it with around girly numbers. I cautiously let Faris lead me to the back of the cafe. I finally learn what the customers are doing. I was engrossed in some kind of card game. Now I remember. The other day, Faris said that she was doing a Reiner Access Battlers tournament. That's the Faris Cup. If you win, you get to eat Faris's home cooking or something like that. <laughs> Looks like Faris tricked me. Save me, she said. Yeah, she said. I knew she was not to be trifled with. Oh, hi, Daru. Huh? Why are you here? You don't do, Rynet. Daru? What are you doing here? What about Sun? Let me rest for a day, man. She treat me better after two consecutive all-nighters. Sun's power grows stronger by the day. Here you are without a care in the world. You're here too. I came for an unrelated matter and got dragged into this nonsense. I'm not interested in Ryan at all. Faris is home cooking. I am interested in this text though. Oh good, it's Lukako. It's been like forever. Come back to me, baby girl. Baby boy? I don't know. <laughs> I can't. Never mind. There's my mom, my dad, my older sister, and my grandpa. My sister's personality is the. My sister's personality is the polar opposite of mine. She's really boyish. When we were small, she always made me, made me help prepare dinner instead of. When we were small, she always made me prepare help. Yeah, fucking hell, I'll get through this sentence one day. <laughs> when we were small, she always made me help prepare dinner instead of her. Because of that, I started to love cooking. Yes, I did 20 practice swings with the Samadere. Mary always praises your cooking skills. Actually, you can you teach her how to cook? Maybe then she'll eat something besides junk food. I have a sister. I visit the shrine a lot, but I've never met her. I'm gonna talk about your cooking, Lukako. The only person that still thoroughly interests me. The second those words leave my lips, I feel like everyone in the store is glaring at me. They want my blood. Come to think of it, the Ferris Cup was organized by Ferris, so it makes sense that only Ferris fans will participate. In other words, I'm the away team. I'm surrounded by enemies. This is something I must do. This is just one more step on my road to the IBN 5100. Obtain information using any means necessary. With that mission in mind, I sit next to Daru and softly whisper to him. Daru. Operation Sigma. <laughs> We're doing the nonary games again. What's that? 
I'm saying we should cooperate. We'll be the strongest if we team up, right? Well, like you're gonna drag me down. You're a noob at this game, Okarin. But you're my right hand man. As long as we're together, we have nothing to fear. Daro flashes his white teeth in a grin. But I refuse. I'm in this thing to win. You call yourself my friend! In this tournament, we're enemies. You traitor! Why do you think I sent you into this cafe as a spy? You didn't send me. I'm Paris Town's biggest fan. I check her blog every day and... Suddenly, the cafe's lights dim. A song starts playing. A somewhat solemn me melody with sexy and powerful female vocals. I've heard this song a lot recently. Pretty sure it's the theme song to Ryanette Kakaru. Tune's pretty good. I'm just gonna say it. I'm gonna sit here and hopefully listen to it in the like, hopes that I don't get copyright claimed. And now we're drum rolling. Hi everyone! Nope, wrong voice. <coughs> Hi everyone! Thanks for waiting, Mia! The afternoon Ferris Cup is about to begin, Mia! Ferris appears in a spotlight. The previously peaceful audience instantly explodes in excitement. I'm suddenly uncomfortable. Everyone stands up and shouts in unison with their fists raised skyward. Thank you, Nya! Paris responds to their shouts of joy with a wave of her hand, then clears her throat. The rules are simple! Paris will face off against each one of you, Nya! Paris will even go paw to paw with ten people at once, Nya! If you beat Ferris, you'll get her home cooking as a reward, yeah. Now then, everyone, enjoy the contest! Lots are drawn to determine the order we face Ferris. Seems like there are 28 participants, including me. Ferris will face 10 people at the same time, so she divides us into three rounds. I'm at the third round. <sighs> strong Ferris is strong. Daru, a first round participant, was insta killed by Ferris. Also, can we just take a moment to uh, appreciate the smug look on Ferris and the defeated look of Daru there? <laughs> like, Jesus Christ, I've never seen a man look so defeated. Apart from maybe like the other two guys in this shot. How weak. And he said I was going to be the burden. No, maybe Ferris is just too strong. Ryanette access battlers is similar to chess. There's a special board where you compete using pieces arranged in rows. The rules are fairly complicated, but basically the point of the game is to get your pieces into the enemy camp. Well, whoever gets the most pieces into the enemy camp wins. Ferris is playing against 10 people at once. She moves from table to table in a circle, taking one move at, at each before proceeding to the next. In Go, Shogi, and Chess, this is called a simultaneous exhibition. High-level players hold them to demonstrate their skill. And Faris does indeed seem to be highly skilled, just as Daru said. All ten of the first round participants are annihilated within 15 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the next group tries a little harder, yeah. Damn you, Faris! Don't get cocky! I lean back against the wall and silently watch the round two matches. Paris Chan sure is strong! Miri returns from a break with a drink in hand and whispers to me. I hear she's bad at primate, so I'm really jealous. What would you do if you were good at it? Don't you know, Granite Access Battlers isn't just popular in Akiba, it's a global blend! Blend? So it's coffee? No, I think you mean trend. Yeah, that! So if you get good at it, you're sure to be every kid's hero! Hero, huh? That doesn't sound bad. 
inside. Upper is so cute. Upper, as everyone knows, is Rynet's mascot character. These days, he's more popular than that electric yellow rat. Wait. There's something strange about your argument. How does Rynet's skill relate to Upa's cuteness? I guess they're related in Mayuri's mind. She must be after those limited Upa plushes they give out to participants in official tournaments. You'll never become the strongest with such impure intentions, Mayuri. Mary's chance to visit a code of tournament. I think she's definitely a world class player. If that's the case, those faceless rabble participating in the Ferris Cup are unworthy opponents. Just as expected, round two aims the same as round one. No one's even getting close to Ferris's level. <laughs> Sorry, Nya, but yeah, Ferris. But Ferris never pulls punches in Rynet. I want someone who can go paw to paw with me, Nya! <laughs> Ferris Tan is too strong. We can't win. It was hopeless from the get-go. A thick mood of defeat has already spread across the challengers. Some of them are even on their knees in shame. <laughs> You're all pathetic. I stride to the front of the crowd. I nonchalantly meet Ferris's questioning gaze. But we've been saving the best for last. Daru, allow me to show you how a true man fights! Don't tell me you've got a plan. <laughs> hmm, indeed I do. Let's just call this Operation Sweet Side. A loud ooh echoes from all around me. Those cruelly defeated by Pharisees entrust their hopes to me. And to us all, the eight three eight round three participants. Avengers, they say. I can feel the pain. It gives me strength. At first we were enemies, but now our hearts are joined against the Im Idol Indomitable? Ocarin uses some words that I never thought I'd use. Like ever. But now our hearts are joined against the indomitable might of Faris. So Kyoma thinks he's up to pawn, yeah? The tears of the fallen twenty shall not be in vain. Do you remember our promise, Faris? Once this match is over, you'll tell me everything you know! Amazing! That crazy bastard actually means to win! crowd goes wild. They place their hopes in me. And I'm gonna fucking lose turn one, aren't I? I slowly step up to the table. Five minutes. That's all it will take to decide the match. Okay, round three, start ya! Round of access battlers, do access! And I lost. I give up. It didn't even take five minutes. You're weak. Too weak! Obviously, I've never played Rynet Axis Battlers before. There's no way I can win if I don't even know the rules. By the way, I'm not alone. All eight of his third round contestants were blown out. And thus, the tournament ended in total victory for Faris. Mayushi's disappointed. So it was all a bluff? What happened to Operation Sweet Side? It was almost like Kyoma committed suicide, yeah? Wait, don't tell me. <laughs> yes, it is exactly what you're thinking. I leap onto the chair and strike an awesome pose, bathing in the losers below my skull. Below me in scorn. What the long faces, man? Operation Sweet Side was a suicide attack! That's gotta be the worst pun ever. I don't know the rules. What else could I do? But why are you, but why are you so proud after even though I make kitty litter out of you, nah? 
<laughs> Have you not figured it out, Faris Nyan Nyan? Win or lose, it make no difference. What's that supposed to mean, yeah? Do you remember the conditions I set? Yeah? If Faris lost, she'd tell you everything. No! You are wrong, Faris. What I said was... If I face you, you tell me everything you know. If I face you... Now do you understand? I never needed to win! No one else could have pulled it off. These fools were lured here by the prospect of Faris's home cooking. They were obsessed with winning! But not I! Your home cooking meant nothing to me! The difference in motivation is what allowed this suicide mission to succeed! <laughs> I need to work on that maniacal laugh, but my god, it's fun. It's real fucking fun! My laughter echoes throughout the cafe. Everyone is staring at me in disbelief. Mayushi is the only one to applaud. Wow, Karin! You're amazing! That's dirty. I think you mean fiendishly clever! Behold the success of Operation Sweet Side! I get off the chair and walk to Faris. Now, Faris, answer me. Where is the IBN 5100? Yeah? The IBN 5100? Don't play dumb! I have a reliable source! I remember the image the IBM 5100 Shining Finger sent me. I bring, up, bring it up on my phone and show it to Faris. I know that you have information on the IBN 5100. Yeah. How do you expect me to remember that, yeah? Though I think I've seen this computer before. What? I thought you were an expert on retro PCs. Mayori told me so. Uh, you leaked your sauce. Hi. Yeah, are you she's a reliable sauce? I'm not an expert, yeah. Papa collected them, so he got tons at home, that's all. So that must be where the IBM 5100 is sealed. Take me there at once! I can't, yeah. What? Why? Faris puts on a bewitching smile. Because that's the Faris clan sanctuary! The Faris clan? The only one who may enter the, Far the Faris clan's, clan's county of daughters. Those who pursue the knowledge of the Meow Nico. That's real fucking hard to say. In other words, it's puzzle to everybody but Faris, Nya. Yeah. I'll force your way in. And you'll grow dog ears, Nya. Yeah. Like hell I will. Dog ears? Yeah, right. True, Nya. Faris doesn't tell tall tales, Nya. She suddenly starts acting like a scared little cat girl. Instantly, the air changes with malice. I find myself surrounded by 27 Faris fans, each glaring at me with bloodshot eyes. <laughs> you coward. You converted your believers into your personal army. Faris is only telling the truth, Nya. The defeated are now under Faris's complete control. They approach with a shuffle, muttering foul prayers to their cat goddess. You made Faris cry. I'll never forgive you. Never. Far that one person needs to learn how marriage works. Faris, Faris is indeed uh, not... So, I, I, I was focusing on that one. And not the ones where the people are the, the fetishists down below. Like, I'm not judging, but uh, you don't say that in public. I don't think people say that in public. Oh, well. Also, props to that one guy that wants to be stepped on. I know where you're coming from. Crap, these guys are serious. 
I need the information Faris possesses, but I'm at too great a disadvantage now to press the attack. And then there's my personal weaknesses to Faris's powers. At this rate, I might be assimilated into the Faris cult. What do I do? <laughs> ah! I cry out and seize my right wrist. <laughs> no! Not, not now! It's, it's too soon! My right hand trembles. I show my agony on my face as I tr desperately try to control the trembling. No! Don't tell me! I can't see Rynek system activating! I warned you playing Rynek! I warned you playing Rynek could kill you! What? Where did that come from? I ignore Faris and stagger towards the exit. Her worshippers let me pass. It feels as if everyone is giving me cold stares, but I don't have time to check and make sure. I throw myself out of the door and into open air. Damn, empty handed. The throbbing in my right arm settles as soon as I leave the cafe. I guess I'll ask Dara or Mayori about Faris some other day. It feels like all my exhaustion is caught up with me. And to make matters worse, it's boiling hot today. It is the first day of August, I think. Yeah, that's an American date, not a anywhere else in the world date. <laughs> the sun's getting stronger as we enter August. Fed up with the heat, I wipe the sweat off my brow. Oh, Karin! Oh, Karin! Mayushi, Mayuri chases after me. I almost called her Mayushi out of just reflex. She's smiling and waving at me, but her speed is clearly faster than mine. What happened? Is the Ferris Cup already over? Uh, nope. Well, just about. After this, the customers get to chat with Ferris Chan. I want to tell you about the IBM 5100 thing. I showed Ferris Chan the picture again. Good work, Mayuri. Completely different to a certain useless super hacker. So? Ferris Chan said it was probably around the time she was in elementary school. On a cold autumn day when Ferris Chan was shivering from the cold, her butler Kuroki-san came to help. I don't care about her butler, get to the point! So basically, she ended up donating one of her dad's computers to a shrine. She said it just like, it looked just like the one you were looking for. Oh my god, Lukako has it! <laughs> Donated it? To a shrine? That's an unexpected combination. PCs and shrines. Consumer electronics and ancient Shinto rituals. They're not even tangen tangentially related. Which shrine? Mary tilts her head in confusion. I don't know. How could it be? You didn't ask her. Whatever, it's a lead. The only shrines in Akiba are Kanda Myojin and Yanabayashi Shrine. I don't know if Faris was living in Akiba at the time, but at least it's a start. Good work, Mayori. Continue your espionage mission. SNP Hoj? Espionage? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay, bye-bye! Instead of returning to work, she keeps waving at me until I've vanished from sight. Oh, thank God I do get to go and see Lukako! I've missed that man. Kanda Myojin is l the larger and more popular shrine, so 9 out of 10 people would choose to donate something there. But when I inquire at the shrine office, no one knows anything about an old computer. That leaves Yanabayashi Shrine. I don't regret changing my ringtone to this metal as fuck music. Who's calling me? Narada. Who is this? Kurasu, is that you? What? All I can hear is noise. Wrong number. No, maybe. <gasps> You're from the organization, aren't you? Is this a warning? Are you telling me to stop getting involved with CERN? Huh? Huh? Hmm, it's a woman's voice. And she clearly doesn't understand what I'm talking about. You're not from the organization? 
No. Makise. It's Makase. Makise. Makase. Who? I think I remember this voice from somewhere. What are you going? Sorry, but I don't remember. Tell me where we met. Paris. Or London, perhaps. Akihabara. We saw each other yesterday, remember? Yesterday? Makase. Makase. Oh! My assistant! Not your assistant. Makase Kurisu. If you don't say, if you don't say Christina, then I have no way of knowing it's you. I'm not Christina either. How many times do I have to tell you? You never stop complaining, do you? Whose fault is that? Whose? Fucking say it again! I fucking dare you! Wait a minute. How do you know my phone number? Something's not right here. It's not like Kurosu is free of suspicion. She still could be a spy. Ashida-san told me. Oh, that's boring. So, what is it, assistant? I said I'm not your assistant. <sighs> What's the point? Where are you now? I'm headed to Yanabayashi Shrine. Ah, okay. Bye then. Huh? What? What was that? Is she messing with me? She's messing with me. How dare my assistant treat me like this. I shall scold her most harshly next time we meet. She thinks she's... She thinks she's all that just because she was published in a major journal. Their accomplishments mean nothing to me. What are you talking about? When I arrive at Yanabayashi Shrine, I find my assistant waiting there for some reason. She glares at me with her usual frown. What was that phone call about? I just wanted to ask where you were. And since you were, said you were coming here, I came. Nobody asked you to come. And yet, here I am. <laughs> Why is she always in such a bad mood? Why did you come to see me? It's because I wanted to or anything. Don't get me wrong. Oh my god, th there's the tsundere line. <laughs> Every tsundere, I'm pretty sure, has muttered those words at some point. <laughs> Not because I want to, don't get me wrong. Or something to those effects. He just keeps those abusive words coming. I can't stop thinking about what you said yesterday. What I said? About the IBM 5100. And CERN. Of course! You're working for CERN, not the organization! You're here to kill me, aren't you? That's what I thought. You have the face of a killer! What's wrong with my face? How rude! Can you calm down for a bit? You're always screwing around. I can't believe you're older than me. Calm down? <laughs> you don't know what it's like when you to live on the run. Never knowing when the next assassin will strike. All I'm hearing is gibberish. You come here to pick a fight? I just want to know how the IBN 5100 and CERN are related. <laughs> Don't you mean you're interested in CERN's time machine research? Be honest with yourself. <laughs> Shut up! I'm not interested in the time machines at all. Most importantly, did you find an IBM 5100? That's why I'm here. Kurosu looks up at Yat Yanabayashi Shrine's small archway. A shrine? Soda. Correct. Then, with perfect timing, a beautiful girl, uh, boy, dressed in a Miko garb, appears from a nearby shrine office, holding a bamboo broom. Kyoma-san! Hello! I've remembered the voice when she starts talking. Lukako, why don't you have it? Are you talking about Demon Sword Samadere? 
thought I told you to carry it at all times. I'm sorry, but it gets in the way when I'm cleaning, so... What if they attack while you're cleaning? Nobody's gonna come to rescue, you know. That's true. I'll be more careful from now on. Hey. What are you two talking about? Lukiko finally noticed Kurosu and gives me a puzzled look. Um, who might this be? My assistant. No, what kind of introduction is that? I'm only telling the truth, Christina. You're not Japanese? I am Japanese. Anyway, Lukiko, I need to talk to your father about... Wait! Introduce me properly! You want to be introduced? Properly? It's unnatural not to be introduced in this situation. I didn't come here to introduce you to Lukiko. An introduction wouldn't make... Wouldn't take more than ten seconds. What's wrong with you? Um, please don't fight. Look, it goes flustered. Looks like he thinks we're fighting. This is Makase Kurasu, my assistant. Yeah, whatever. Your assistant, whatever. Uh, nice to meet you, Makase. I'm Urubashi. Urushibara Luka. Nice to meet you. How old are you? 17 this year. You're younger than me. Oh, really? Makase san, you're, you're so grown up, I can't believe we're only a year apart. That means you look old. She glares at me. At this point, when doesn't she? That's what I am. You're very beautiful. Thanks. I think you're very cute. <laughs> Kurosu, you know this is a boy, right? But he's a guy. I probably shouldn't tell her that. The shock from learning the truth might be enough to make her go back to America. You're introduced. Happy? Can we move on now? You're such a jerk. Anyway, Lukako, I require an audience with your father. Can you make it happen? Yeah, sure, but why do you need to talk to my dad? It's a grave matter that concerns the future of mankind. The future? Of mankind? I'll go get him! Lukako races into the shrine office. He believes just about everything I say. He's really easy to deal with, unlike my rebellious assistant! <clears throat> oh, no. Did I catch cold? Kurosu's sniffling, should... sniffling should keep her too occupied to scold me for a while. Lukako's father soon appears. Lukako is pretty flustered. He's practically dragging his father behind him. Slow down a little. If you rush me, I'm going to fall. The future of mankind is at stake. Oh. Well, that's certainly serious. I met Lukako's father several times before. He's a gentle, respectable adult. With the exception of how he raised Lukako. Apparently, the reason Lukako wears Miko garb is because her father requests it. Maybe his dad's a perv? No, it's not like I mean to mock the, the Shinto priesthood or anything like that. Yeah. Oh, ah, mm. Yoink Kyun. It's been a while. Thank you for always taking care of Luka. Yeah. The honor is mine. 
His name isn't Yowen. It's Okabe. Oh, really? You there, assistant! No, nope, wrong voice. You there, assistant! Stop making things complicated! I'm just telling the truth. <laughs> what did she come here for? Luca told me that his name was Hyoin. Hmm. Maybe Luca was playing a trick on me. <laughs> you know what? I've decided he sounds like Karaya. That's not a bad thing. Well, that's not it, Dad. Okabe san is his real name, and Hyoin is. Um... I am Hyoin. Okabe Rintaro is the name your parents gave you, right? Are you denying that? Just be quiet, zombie! Who's a zombie? <laughs> ah, it's great that y'all get along. <laughs> Luca's dad looks at Kurasu. Are you one of Luca's friends too? Please get along with Luca from now on too. Um, I'm... As you can see, this child of mine is so delicate. Kurosu looks like she's going to cry for some reason. What's wrong? Ship said that Lukako assumes Lukako's father assumes she's a friend. Kurosu notices my stare and quickly turns away. So, Hyoin Kun, you need something from me? That's right. This is no time for idle chatter. This meeting will shape the course of Ragnarok. The future of mankind is, well, whatever. I'm a mad scientist, not some sort of hero. I explained to Lukako's father about how I need the IBN 5100. And I asked him if that retro piece was donated to Yanabayashi Shrine. Of course, I don't disclose any classified information, like how we plan to act Hack CERN, or how this all relates to time machine research. I don't know if donated is the right word to use. But I know a computer was entrusted to this shrine about nine years ago. <laughs> eh? No way. Really? That's it! That has to be it! Please wait here. I'll go get it. Lukako's father come ba comes back in about 10 minutes. His face is bright red and he's carrying a large cardboard box. His gait is fairly unsteady. I wonder if he'll be okay. <sighs> Ew, it was hard to dig out. I think this is what you're looking for. I'm slowly slipping between like Karaya and like Irish and I don't know which one to do. <laughs> Lucas' dad places the box on the ground and takes a deep breath as he rubs his back. Was it that heavy? I thank him and take a look inside. An IBN 5100! Inside is a simple computer with an integrated monitor. The monitor is only about as big as a GPS screen. I compare it to the IBM 5100 image I got from Shining Finger. They look very similar. <gasps> look at this! Lukako points at the logo between the tape drive and the monitor. I like how they feel the need to be like, yeah, kids, uh, this is what a tape drive is. Just speak for you, for all you that don't know what a tape is. All you goddamn millennials. Don't even fucking use CDs anymore. It says IBM 5100 portable computer. <laughs> 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 Finally! I have solved Akiba's urban legend! This has to be the phantom PC of Akihabara. It's in excellent condition. There's only a thin layer of dust on it. But it looks like we'll need to plug it need to plug it in to see if it works. Now the problem is whether Lukako's father will lend it to me. I, I don't even know if I can do that again. Urshibarashi. I'll be blunt. May I borrow this computer? Sure. Seriously? 
Is it okay for a priest to just lend property out like that? Items which were donated to the shrine? I never heard of anything like that. That's why I was expecting him to refuse. And this computer was entrusted to us. The owner said this. If a younger man ever appears and says he needs this computer no matter what, please lend it to him with my blessings. I'm sorry, come again? Th they they knew I would I was going to come and collect this computer. I didn't think it actually happened to be honest. No, I've forgotten in about it entirely until you reminded me. I'm happy to lend it to you, Hyoin-kun, but please be sure to return it when you're done, okay? Of course. Thank you. I bow deeply, but my heart is grinning like a madman. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. Things are going better than I anticipated. It's almost like everything's been handed to me on a silver platter. Now certain secrets will be laid bare. We can expose their wicked research and possibly even gather hints on the creation of a time machine. And then I can complete the first time machine in human history. Now I have to get the IBM 5100 back to the lab. But unfortunately, I don't have a car to transport it. In fact, I don't even have a license. Same goes for my assistant. Can't Americans start driving at 16? Can we don't have a license? What? Something wrong with that? I spent all my time doing research. You're wasting your youth. I thought so too until I met you. Now I realize I'm doing just fine. Touche. Um, no fighting, please. Lukako is flustered again. You're a lifesaver, Lukako. Thank your father again for me. Lukako's dad has already returned to the shrine office. Lukako nods. Your father's a your father is a lovely man. Eh? Lukako and I freeze at my assistant's nonchalant words. <laughs> my father is married. <laughs> Adultery is bad. Huh? I see, assistant. So you like older men. Hey, wait! Don't misunderstand me, you two. That, that's not what I meant. I won't give up my father! Please don't cry. I just meant that I was jealous of how well you get along with your father. That's all. Ah, of course. I'm sorry for the weird misunderstanding. How so rude of me. Don't cry. Don't cry. We've resolved the misunderstanding, so it's okay. In the depths of your heart lie feelings for Luke. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for that. But in the depths of your heart lie feelings for Luca's dad. Die. Christina turns away. I decide to leave it at that. Angering any further could lead to violence. Luca Ko. Don't forget your practice swings with Samadere. I'll do my best. It's Kongru! Don't forget it. I'm sorry. Hey, what kind of low life teases a girl? I wouldn't know. Look at Ko is a guy! I ignored Christina and lifted the box with the IBM 5100 inside. Huh? Ah, <laughs> oh, it's heavy! I can barely get it off the ground. Put it down for now. I'm waiting for like a, a remark that was like, and they said this thing was portable. Now I know why Lucas' dad was red in the face when he brought the thing in. Is it that heavy? Pathetic. It's only as big as a CRT monitor. Then why don't you try carrying it? Then you'll understand. 
Cursor sighs, grabs both ends of the cardboard box and lifts. She strains with all her might, but gives up without lifting even a centimeter. It's really heavy. She blushes slightly, but still maintains her usual frown. My assistant seems to have a strong, competitive spirit. This thing's gotta weigh like 30 kilos. Maybe we should have borrowed a push card. Urashibara-san, is there one at the shrine? Um, there is one, but actually it's broken. I'm sorry. Oh, is there some other place we could borrow? Yeah. No, we don't need a push cart. And how are you gonna bring it back? It takes about 10 minutes to walk to your rundown lab from here. Maybe too heavy for one person. But it's a different story for two. You and I just need to carry it together. Why else do I think you made my. I can't words. Why else do you think I made you my assistant? So that's why. Well, if we carry it together, we might be able to manage, but. But I refuse. Huh? I, I, I said no! I'm pretty sure you said, but I refuse. Shut up! I said no! But I refuse is a famous manga quote. Could Kurosu be an at Chandler? I'm pretty sure that's also a JoJo reference, is what they're getting at, but I, I don't actually know. This game makes too many JoJo references for not being a JoJo thing. Watch JoJo, <laughs> if you haven't already. It's quality. The whole, the whole reason you made me a lab man was to borrow my knowledge. From this, it is elementary to derive the following. I won't do physical labor. So I see. And I guess I have no choice. I'll do my best to carry it, but... I glance at Lukako. He twitches when he notices my look. And timidly raises, raises his hand with tears in his eyes. You're, you're going to help? Will you be okay? Hi. Yes, that, I'll do my best. No, Lukako. I shouldn't make you help me. I can manage by myself. But, but I'm afraid it's okay, san I want to help you. No, I'll do it myself. I'll help you. Then, uh, uh, me too. Please go ahead. Huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you know, Christina? This is what you call a Japanese gag. You sneaky. Thanks for the backup, Lugako. Uh, that said, my system will help me carry the computer. So you don't have to help. Thanks for the offer. Ah, okay. If that's how it is, then... Now, assistant! Since you volunteered, I won't let you refuse! Grab hold and heave! Fine. Kurosu, I, Kurosu and I lift the cardboard box. The burden's considerably easier when distributed between two people. Why do we have to be face to face? We're positioned so that we're looking at each other. There's no other way to hold it, so what can you do? Let's just go. I start to walk out of the shrine. Hey! Stop, stop, stop! I, I said stop! You're a noisy one. Don't walk forwards, then I have to walk backwards. Let's walk sideways. Whatever. Get moving, assistant. Hey, listen. Please, ju just listen. I, I, I can't walk backwards. Of course you can. You're my assistant. 
I appreciate the vote of confidence, but I can't. I'm asking you to go sideways. No, I'm telling you to go sideways. Sideways! I'm going to fall! It's dark by the time we get back to the lab. It's normally less than 15 minute walk, but since Koso kept begging to take breaks, we ended up, it ended up taking twice as long. Finally made it. I'm exhausted. If we didn't complain so much about every little thing, we would have gotten here sooner. Right back at you. You start to take a break at least five times along the way. That's because I wasn't feeling well. Are you okay? It's just. Occasionally, my right arm aches, and when it does, dark, destruct, dark destructive impulses overcome my soul. Shut up, or I'll tear the per per perennial. Yeah. Shut up, or I'll tear the perennial nerves out of that arm. Holy crap! There's something wrong with this girl. About my nerves? That's something. That's like something from last year's new gen incidents. I was gonna say, is, is being my menu? No, that's uh, for. What's his face? I. I don't know what new gen is. Okay, I'll shut up. Let's bring the IBM 5100 into the lab. The final barrier awaits. We have to ascend the rickety building's narrow staircase. Shouldn't you get your friends to help? You're right. I check the window. The lab's lights are on. Part-time warrior comes out of the brawn tube with perfect timing. It is an Okabe Wintero! What you got there? This is like Faris, but less like... Nyah! Or at least that's what I'm trying to go for. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know? <laughs> then I'll tell you. Wait. If you're just going to stand and talk, shall we put the box down first? <laughs> yeah. Actually, wait, this will only take a second. Well, what is it? What if I told you it's an IBN 5100? No way, you found it? Wow, way to go, Akabi Rintaro! I wish you'd stop calling me by my full name. She's gonna do that, she should at least call me Hyo and Kyoma. Where was it? It's heavy. Kurosu starts giving in. I'm about at my limit too. Let's put it down. Kurosu and I place it on the ground gently as to not damage the contents. So, where was it? Yanabayashi Shrine. Yanabayashi Shrine? You mean like a Shinto shrine? Uh. Yeah. Why was it there? And suddenly, Suzuha looks at Kurosu. Huh? Ah. She gasps, then approaches Kurosu until they're close enough to feel each other's breath. No. Yes. Makase Kurosu? Yes. Oh, tension. For some reason, she stares at Kurosu with frightful intensity. Kurosu now has her eyes in opposition. What's going on here? I can't move a muscle, and the air is so thick with tension. What is it? Have I done something wrong? Not yet! <laughs> Zua turns away without looking back, disappears into the Braun Tube Workshop. Who was that? Now Kurosu demands answers from me. She works part-time at that store. Why was, Why was she glaring at me? How should I know? Did you do something to make her angry? I've never seen her before in my life. How rude. Kurosu picked a fight with me the first time we met too. 
But that was a hallucination, so I don't say anything. Well, that was interesting, I guess. She really doesn't like Kurosu, which I'm guessing it just also adds to the fact that I think she's tighter and she's come from the future. She knows something about Kurosu that, uh, I don't. Anyway, I'm gonna end this episode of Steins Gate here because it's like midnight for me. And granted, I don't have to get up for work, but I still like my sleep because I'm lazy, I guess is the excuse I'm going to use. I'm also gonna try and record some of these in bulk so I can post them throughout the week. So I'm gonna record another one tomorrow. So there'll be like a gap between where I read comments, but that's all by the by. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this episode of Steins Gate. If you like the video in any capacity, give the video a like down below. Leave a comment on, I don't know. Again, I, I get the feeling that Suzuwa and Kurosu don't, don't, they don't like each other very much. <laughs> I don't even know what that accent is. It's like somewhere between like the bad Canadian ones that people do and like really bad Northern. But yeah. Yeah, why, why, why was I? Oh yeah. If you want to keep up to date whenever I post videos, you can subscribe to the channel. In theory, YouTube sends you alerts as to when I post videos, but if all else fails and that doesn't happen, you made me feel warm and fuzzy today, so I appreciate the sentiment. Thanks in advance. <laughs> anyway, thank you all for watching. I've been Nyx, and I will see you guys next time. Laters!